Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one-year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% entirely free and exclusively free for our annual and lifetime members specifically, while lifetime on top of that get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it free again for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up and attending this event, DM tbradley90 in the MIC Slack chat and or email myself at tosh, T-O-S-H, at myinvestingclub.com. Now, Today we have a very special video for you guys as Aloha Trader, who is one of our main head moderators in MIC chat, does a recap for us and it's on the ticker symbol MLNT. He talks about risk management and also trader psychology. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our full length exclusive content, then become an MIC member. What's up everybody? Austin here. Going to do a trade recap on... Um MLNT was a good trader today. Um, I traded it okay. Um, I want to go over what I did. You know, I did a lot of things. I did a lot of things right today. Um, I did a couple things wrong. I want to go over it. But before I do, disclaimer: I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not licensed. I'm not registered. No, and none of this should be taken as investment advice, even if it sounds like it. Okay. So, yeah, MLNT was um was a stock that. I probably shouldn't have been shorting at all, but I've recently kind of been trying to do like I, I, we're in a market where stuff's not really moving up a lot and stuff's kind of popping and fading a little bit. And I kind of wanted to be more short bias today. And then I saw MLNT up and um, what really should have like turned me off to the whole idea in the first place was the fact that it was like an FDA approval. Of like a new of a new drug new drug acceptance I think and you know but even though I was short bias all day I didn't um I didn't mess up really on it like I, I kept risk and control all day I was super proud of myself and I kind of messed up at the end a little bit and I want to get into it so we start the day off and well you know I I just kind of let it do its thing at the open I'm not looking to be a hero this pop I totally missed I meant to be shorting into this um uh, because I like had I known what it was. But this was definitely a Fugro pump, and had I known that, I would have been shorting right then and there. But um, I didn't know what it was at first, and I was trying to give it room. Like, uh, the volume was really high. I was trying to give it room to potentially maybe surprise everyone at break five. When I found out it was just a pump job right here, I should have, like, I, I would have been shorting it if I knew it in hindsight. But I missed that, but that's okay. I'm looking to get in on the second pop, and, like, I totally just get blindsided, right? I just get blindsided. I'm shorting into this with kind of like a lower high risk shorting into this shorting jumping in front of the train done it a hundred times before but you know like you can do something 99 times right and if you you know the one time it doesn't work you have to be ready right this time I, I it caught me off guard but I was still ready right so my original my planned risk was gonna be here at like you know over like four dollars and fifty cents this is my planned risk like I even probably had um, I was getting ready to put my like I got filled here and I got filled here I'm like oh great well let me just put my other add in here quick you know small starter quick risk I'm really in risk management mo mode today and that's kind of what you have to do when you're shorting the front side of moves right and we get a nice pull I add to the winner a little bit because I feel like we're still extended I feel adding adding lower is okay in the situation and we get the, the pull I'm looking for and I cover half and then so what I'm thinking about is like I one thing I've been trying to focus on my trading is I don't recycle enough I typically get gain hungry right I don't recycle enough and so I'm trying to learn how to recycle and just constantly like trade my conviction if I'm short on the name I should be shorting all pops if I'm if I'm long on the name I should be covering all dips and have the conviction and keep doing it until it doesn't work right and then so I, I, I you know of course I decide to recycle the day and it doesn't come to fruition but that's okay like it's holding trend like if you drew a trend line it's just it's still holding this big bigger time frame trend so i'm being very cognizant of that 
Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.